Hi, my name is Bernice Kwong. I'm a clinical assistant professor of dermatology at Stanford Medicine, and today I'll be talking about the approach to the patient with multiple skin rashes. Remember, patients can often have two or more different rashes, each with their own diagnoses. Here, I'll show you a patient with three different diagnoses and show you how I would simplify this seemingly complex presentation. And now we'll examine our patient with multiple skin rashes. Hi, ma'am. My name is Dr. Kwong. Very nice to meet you. I'm going to take a look at your skin today. So um, what we see here are scattered maybe half to three centimeter plaques um, because I can feel substance to these lesions scattered on the anterior legs bilaterally. When we feel the lesions, we notice that they all have a rim of peripheral scale. On the left leg, we notice that there's a larger depressed plaque, and we know that it's depressed because we can feel the cutoff but at the edge. We can feel the lesion actually sinking down, and it's filled with little tiny purple to red blood vessels, which we call telangiectasias. So kind of in summary, we see scattered erythematous to brown plaques, and also on the left leg, a depressed atrophic red-brown plaque with telangiectasias. So in our approach to a patient with multiple rashes, it's a, it is important for us to examine certain body parts that may give us clues to the diagnosis. So one example is to make sure that we look at the nails and examine the nails of our patients to look for any hints that could signify certain diseases. For this patient, when we take a look here, she has a few depressions in her nails which are consistent with pits, which can be seen in psoriasis. Ma'am, is it okay if I take a look at your elbows? And on the elbows here, we note these erythematous, scaly, raised plaques symmetrically distributed on both elbows, which could be consistent with the patient's known diagnosis of psoriasis. We also want to examine her scalp. Where we see similar scaly, well-demarcated erythematous plaques distributed on her vertex scalp. In this patient with multiple rashes, with a known diagnosis of psoriasis and with some clinical lesions classic for psoriasis on her elbows and scalp, it can be difficult to understand whether or not other rashes are related to that same diagnosis. To recap, we see multiple diagnoses and we need to approach each one independently as if they are the only rash. For our first diagnosis, we see circular lesions with outer scaly rims this is consistent with the diagnosis of porokeratosis caused by increased keratin deposits in the skin. The diagnosis is likely given the isolated lesion that is hypopigmented with an elevated rim. However, it should be noted that there are various subtypes of porokeratosis. For our second diagnosis, we saw a lesion consistent with necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum. This is a lesion often seen in diabetic patients, and its diagnosis is made by seeing reddish-brown and sometimes yellow plaques with an atrophic center. These lesions are usually seen on the pretibial region. For our third and final diagnosis, we have psoriasis. This was based on our patient's scaly rash on extensor surfaces at the elbows, pitting nails, and involvement of the scalp. You'll often have patients with multiple and complex rashes. These rashes don't need to be confusing. You just need to approach each rash one at a time by describing primary morphology and supportive attributes. Thank you for your time. Please visit our Stanford 25 website for more information. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.